So I just finished an interview for a quick scholarship applicant. Her name is Asma and she has just finished her exams yesterday of her bachelor's degree. And now she'll be in her final semester probably or uh, passing very soon after her bachelor's. And uh, I could see uh, the confusion in her eyes, like uh, what to do next? What can I do to grow in my career? Father is uh, working and um, there are uh, you know, siblings to be supported and expenditures to be taken care of. And of course, she had this aspiration. She wanted to do something great in research. And I'm sure many of you have these kind of dreams. So today in this video, we're going to talk about if you're in final year bachelor's or you have just passed out or probably you have just written, finished the, writing the exams. What can you do immediately after that uh, during your this break, semester break or you know a break after your degree so that you can grow faster in your career? So I'll start this with a story, the story is mine. So when I was in my bachelor's and I finished it or pre-final year also, so I met my mentor and uh, she said this, that today you have one ability which you won't have 10 years from today probably, and that is learning ability. So learning ability is also ability. Like, you know, some people can climb uh, a rope. Some people can, uh, you know, run faster. That's a skill, right? Ability. So same way, we don't realize, but because we have studied for like 10 to 12 years together in the education system, we as uh, students have uh, a very strong learning ability. Right. So, so have the teachers, but of course, I'm talking about students now. So, you know, once you have a gap in your studies, that learning ability itself takes time, like six months to come back. Right. So right now you have a very strong learning ability. That's what she told me. And she said that. So use it to learn something. And that's where I learned programming. Right. And that's exactly I want to tell you that uh, in this gap, which you have semester break or uh, in between uh, exams or in between uh, the course before the next course starts or next semester starts and you have some like 15 days, 20 days, 30 days. If you just, you know, sit back, enjoy, relax, of course, you should do it to recharge yourself. But at the same time, uh, probably you can utilize it to do a few things which I'm going to highlight here. Now, the first things first, you can do some online courses because for online courses, you are relaxing also. And at the same time in the evenings, probably you can learn also live, right? So um, you can explore platforms like Biotechnica where we conduct a lot of biotech related courses. Uh, the upcoming ones will be coding, bioinformatics winter internship. Uh, then uh, there's a workshop coming up uh, for biotech R&D, uh, which how to choose your career and various other things are lined up. So you can always choose from that. The next thing would be, uh, you know, attending a lot of industry oriented webinars. So you can go to LinkedIn and follow pages like NCBS and uh, TIFR and see what new things they are posting, what new webinars they're conducting, industry oriented webinars. Those you can participate. The next which I have seen students always ignore is reading scientific journal, you know. So you can make a habit of reading scientific journals. I'm sure you have a subscription in your college, you can do that. Then you have attending a lot of virtual events which uh, we conduct or any, any other organization is conducting. Learn, learn, learn as long as you can absorb. And the moment you feel your absorption capacity is gone, take some rest. This is how you can do. Now, you can also do one thing which uh, I highly recommend is look for some interdisciplinary projects. Uh, coding is one, bioinformatics is one, bioprocess engineering is one. So you can always work on that. And very important, very important step will be building your LinkedIn profile. Okay, build your LinkedIn profile and start networking, sending connections, you know, connection requests probably to me or to someone in the industry. And uh, of course, to your teachers, because they can introduce you to their network because they have also struggled in their life and reached where they are. So professors you can connect with. Then you can also, if, if you are in, interested in programming and uh, bioinformatics, then you can create your own GitHub account and start doing some open source, pro source project there, right? Then of course, you can do hands-on training. So uh, like we have a hands-on training for the molecular biology techniques at uh, Dr. Deepthi Saini's lab, IAC incubated lab, protein design. The second uh, we have uh, upcoming is a CRISPR mRNA hands-on internship, so you can take up that. So yeah, these are the things which you can do. Now, another thing which you can do is keeping yourself updated with the latest industry trends. One of the latest industry trends will be CRISPR, mRNA, uh, interdisciplinary uh, research and uh, AI, ML. Of course, these are the things which you can keep yourself updated with. And then very important thing is uh, create your resume, create, create your CV, create, create your cover letter. And of course, you can always go and create a portfolio of projects which you have done or dissertation and stuff. So you can create a portfolio 
or the portfolio can be a website or it can be just a hard copy uh, printout but or a powerpoint that can help you so these are the things and again of course if you have time you can always um, in, do internships or volunteer one of the upcoming internship like i said is uh, the bioinformatics winter internship you can go for that and uh, yes if, if you are free in january we are conducting job placement assistance um, course which you can always join so these are the things which i think um, you all should be doing but in the middle of this what if i tell you that all of this you can do and that too with a scholarship and that is called as quick scholarship so biotechnica has quick scholarship which you can um, access at quick.biotechnica.org k-w-i-k kariko wiesman innovation and knowledge scholarship under this scholarship we are providing you all of this at a very affordable cost and uh, four students are getting it for 100 percent scholarship and rest of them are going to get it at a nominal cost so you can go ahead and uh, check that out also and if you have any questions comments or anything you would like to ask or you would like uh, to take help from or if you have any video ideas which you want me to make a video on let me know in the comment section and you can write to me personally at shaker at biotechnica.org and all the students of biotechnica or the quick scholars will have a direct access in whatsapp with me Thank you so much. See you soon in the, in, in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.